Good morning, Vicon. I hope that you are excited still. This the third day. We have a few hours more before we end. But I hope that Vicon is just starting for you. Okay? Before I start, I need to shout out to AVP Giri's son, Raghav. He asked me to mention his name. Raghav, good morning, sir. Okay? And Three nephews in Ghana, Kyle, Kaniel, and Kester, told their father today that we can't go to school. Why? They said, Uncle Sati is talking, we have to listen. School is a waste of time. It is not a waste of time, but today your excuse, tomorrow go to school. Okay? And finally, little chief, my nephew is, I hope he's watching. Aryan, love you. Okay. So, today I'm going to talk to a few groups of people. If you are in that group that I mentioned, raise your hand. Okay? Firstly, people who came to check out this company. You're sitting there and you're wondering, is this company real? And you're watching and you're listening. Okay? That group. Second group, people who are scared whether they should continue with this journey or not. That group. Third group, people who are sitting with their family members praying that their family members will be convinced about this company. Fourth group, people who are stuck, earning small checks, earning small checks, and they're hoping that they get the click during this week on, so that the checks will go up, the network will grow bigger. I'm talking to you as well. And the fourth group, or fifth group, people who want to quit, and this is the last chance, sitting down, okay, I give one more chance to see whether I still want to continue or not. I'm talking to you also, okay? I hope that some of you have raised your hands. The f another group, people who have not joined, but were convinced to watch this week on to make a decision. I'm talking to you also. People who have already quit, but they are plan convinced. One last time, come and watch week on, it'll be fun. I'm talking to you also. All these groups, every one of you, okay? You have to make a decision whether you're with us or not. You can't be sitting on the fence. You're either in or out. Okay? Because if you sit on the fence, there's no way you can go, either here or there. So you have to make a decision today. And I'm telling you, after the past two days, I hope that you have made a decision that people will come and say a lot of negative things. But you have to make a decision. Okay? Your friends like Manorama, Vadivelu, Sendil, Johnny Lever, they will come and say bad things. They will say negative things. But that doesn't change your decision. Because remember, when you signed up, you had a reason why you signed up. True? You had a reason why you signed up. Now, because of somebody saying something bad, you forgot your reason. That's silly, isn't it? How can you give up the reason why you joined? Because of somebody or something that was said against QNET. So, I want you to make a decision today. I want you to put your left hand out. Put your left hand out. Everybody putting your left hand out. Okay, now, think of the three major challenges you're facing in the business now. First challenge, Second challenge, third challenge. Okay? Three challenges. Now close your fist. Now put out your right hand. Think of three things that you want to achieve in life. Three dreams that you have. First dream, second dream, third dream. So now on your left hand, you have three major challenges that you face. On your right hand, three things that you want to achieve through this business in your life. Which hand are you going to choose? If you're going to choose your left hand, log off and go to sleep. If you choose your right hand, throw away your left hand. It doesn't matter anymore. Only focus on your right hand. The three dreams that you want to have in life. That's what QNET is going to give you. If you focus on your left hand, I don't want to talk to you anymore. I want to talk to those who still have their right hand and put up your right hand if you want 
to continue with us. I hope that every one of you has your right hand raised. Okay? Now, let's talk about the business. Each one of us has a superpower inside of us. True? Your upline has a superpower, your downline has a superpower, and you have a superpower. So for this week, what I want you to do is I want you to exchange your superpower with your upline. For example, Chief does what he does. Correct? He's amazing in what he does. He inspires millions of people. I also have a little bit of superpower. And my superpower is reaching out to people, building relationships, talking to them, helping them. So for this week, I'm going to exchange my superpower with Chief. He's going to do what I do best, and I'm going to do what he does best. Can you imagine what will happen? You become damn powerful. Like Shipra has a superpower, and Bridges has his, correct? So for this week, just exchange the power, and you see what happens. So Bridges, this whole week, do what Shipra does. And Shipra, do what Bridges does. And you will see the results will be amazing. Like Dev Vadwani and Sachin. Dev Vadwani has a superpower, Sachin has his. Switch for one week. Try it. It's going to be amazing. I want you to try that. Okay? So choose one person in your network, either upline or downline. And for this week, switch. Do what they do best, and they do what you do best. Okay? So this week, I'm going to switch my superpower with Chief. So maybe this week's Wednesday video, instead of Chief, I'll be doing it. <laughs> Can you imagine? Okay, let me try. Good morning! Okay, almost there. I'll work on it. I have two more days. But why not you do that? Why not try? Switch your superpowers. If everybody switches, you will see that you have that superpower inside of you which you never used. You understand? I can be like Chief, Chief can be like me. But we never use it. It's always inside. So start using it. Now, second thing is, Second thing is, all of you have these chat groups, correct? 20 people inside, 30 people inside, 40 people inside, 10 people inside. I want you to set up a chat group with only three people. Three people only. And these three people, you must have 100% trespass. Not 99%, 100%. Set up that chat group, just three of you, and you can talk about anything, you can confront, you can discuss your personal stuff, work, business, network, everything. Just three people, set up this chat group. Do you have that, one, that two people that you can talk about anything? You can confront, 100% trespass, not 99.9, 100%. Set up that chat group. Okay? Three people. Now, after you set up this thread group, set up one more with three people. You understand? Slowly, this chat group will grow. But you see, the mistake people do, they simply set up a chat group. And some things you can't talk to them about. Then they cannot be in the chat group. You must be able to talk about anything and everything. You understand? And it's very difficult. Even I don't have the chat group. I don't have that many chat groups. I have a few with three people, which I can talk anything. Okay? First chat group, of course, me, Kuna, and Chief. Okay? And then me and my three leaders, my two leaders. Okay? So you must set up the chat group. But remember again, 100% trespass. 
trespass, not 99%. Okay? You have 20 people in a chat group. You talk about work, business and all that. But there is one chat group that you can, when you're frustrated, you can talk there. When you want to quit, you can talk there. Okay? Now, I know that you have two people. One by one you can talk. But you need one more person. An independent point of reference in that group. So when you feel frustrated, you want to quit, you want to kill somebody, you put it in the chat group and that two people will talk to you. And you can talk to the two people. And that chat group becomes so strong, so powerful. And slowly you set up one more and one more and one more. Eventually, when you start maxing out, you will have 10 of the chat groups with the three people. You understand? It is so powerful. You know, whenever I need something, I'm lost, I need something, I put it in the chat group. And we discuss, we get ideas. And I can throw my deepest frustration, my deepest pain, or my happiest moment, I put in the chat group. You understand? Three people, 100% trespass, that you can trust that it doesn't leave that group. You can talk about anyone, anything, and it doesn't leave that group. If you have that, set it up. Okay? Now, let me tell you a story. You like listening to stories? Okay? So, let me tell you a story. Remember, two things you have to do, right? Exchange superpowers this week and set up the chat group. Three people, 100% trespass. Safe environment. Doesn't leave the chat group. Okay? So, let me tell you a story. When I first started 20 years ago, we built Malaysia. And then I decided that I wanted to venture out and start a new network. So I decided to go to London. 12 hour flight, first time to London. Okay? So I got my name list, I got my contacts, everything. And I got my blessings for my upline, Chief and Dato Sri and my mother. Okay? I'm going to London. So the first time I'm flying to London, I'm scared, I'm nervous, I'm excited. But mostly I'm scared because I didn't want not, did not want to fail. You know, I didn't want to come back empty-handed. That's the worst thing, okay? So I went, landed in Heathrow Airport. How many of you have been to London? Some of you. How many of you want to go to London? Most of you, okay. So when London landed in Heathrow Airport, took my passport, ready to go out and to start a network. Reached the airport, I was scared and confused. And I thought I landed in the wrong airport because there were no white people in the immigration counters. Mostly Sadarjis, one Chinese, another Indian. So I thought, wrong country. So I went, gave my passport, he said, oh, Mr. Satya Silan, yes. Why are you here? So at that time, I don't know what to say. I can't say I want to, I'm starting a business. They need a different visa for that. I'm visiting my cousins. Oh, how long are you going to stay? Two weeks, sir. Okay. Enjoy your stay. Stem, I went out. Now, that time I was just starting, so I did not have much money. And to take the taxi in London, it's like 20, 30 pounds. Okay? 20, 30 pounds is times five my money. Okay? So 100 over ringgit. So I said, no, let me take the tube, the train. So my luggage, I got in the train and I read the map. Okay, I need to change trains in Piccadilly and then I take the northern line and I go to High Barnet. That's where my cousin stays. So I went to the station took the tube, exchanged trains, went, reached High Barnet. It was about 9 p.m. Okay? Now, my cousin's house from the train station is about a 10-minute walk. So I did not want to bother them, so I walked. He told me how to walk. He gave me direction. Very simple. Straightforward. Turn left, turn right. His house is there. So I was dragging my bag, my luggage, in the streets of London at 9 p.m. to my cousin's house. And my bag, old bag, so the wheel had a sound. Whenever I drag, the sound was tuck, tuck, tuck. 
okay? And it's quite loud. So this was in the suburbs, okay? 9 p.m. in London, I don't know why everybody sleeps. So I was dragging my suitcase on the road and I was making this noise. Tuck, 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 tuck. And I was coolly walking, going. And suddenly somebody shouted, Hey, don't you know what time it is? I got scared. So slowly I dragged. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Again somebody shouted, Hey! What I do? I had to carry my bag. So I carried my big suitcase and I walked. Then I reached my cousin's house. Reached my cousin's house, hugged him, sat down and showed him the plan. He already decided to sign up. Before I reached there, I called him and said, he said, fine, he was my hot zone. So he decided to sign up. So I explained the business to him. He said, on, okay. So then I went to sleep. Next morning, I woke up early, excited, ready to go out there and show the plan and start a network in London. I can finally tell people I have a network in England. Okay? So I went out again, bought a day pass, took the tube to the city. Before that, I made calls, made arrangements, set appointments, everybody. So the whole day, I was showing plans. Meeting people in coffee shops, meeting people in pubs, which was the wrong thing to do because my upline told me, when you show the plan, don't meet in a pub and don't drink. But the guys in England, it's all right, mate. And that's Australian. It's okay. Show me what you have to show me while I have my beer. So in the pub, crowded, noisy, I was trying to show him the plan. He just looked at it and he laughed. He said, man, this won't work here. Finished his beer and he left. Without paying the bill. I had to pay the bill. So I was counting my money then, oh. And I was scared. Because remember, times five. So the whole day, I got rejection after rejection. People laughed at me. People said, I'm stupid. And then I went home late at night. Then I went in, my cousin asked me, how was it? I said, fantastic. People are so excited, it's going to boom. Of course, I lied. I can't tell him. I got rejected after rejected, you know? So I lied. Then I went to the room, and don't tell this to anyone, but honestly, I cried. I cried because I thought I was going to fail. You know? Have you had that feeling before? How many of you silently cried and thought of giving up? Thought you were a failure? Don't worry, you're not alone. I did that. Then the phone rang. My cousin called me. Sati, call from Malaysia. So I went down, answered the phone. It was chief. The mic, how's things? Fantastic, I said. He said, good, good. How many UVs now? How many BVs? And I said, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Don't be that upline. That upline that calls you and asks you, how many BBs this week? How many BBs this week? You can, but sometimes you got to say, how are you? Is everything okay? Then ask how many BBs. You know, so I like, I said, fantastic, we're going to boom. In my heart, I say, oh my God, I'm going to fail. You know, so after speaking to Chief, my mother came on the phone. She said, how's things? I said, okay, ma, the business is going to boom. She said, don't lie. She said, don't lie, I know. By your voice, I know things are not going well. I said, no, ma, it's okay. Don't worry, I won't give up. It will happen. She said, I know it will happen, but I want you to know that also. You don't have to convince me, Sati. You need to convince yourself. Okay? Then she told me, Sati, there's six hours more before tomorrow. I want you to hold on to the six hours and not give up. You understand? Hold on to that six hours. And tomorrow is a brand new day. You understand? So I said, okay, ma. And 
she just kept telling me that, Sati, just hold on. In six hours, it will be a brand new day. You start again. And then if tomorrow, things still don't happen, you just hold on till the next day. And then you hold on till the next day. And I'm telling you, after I heard her saying that to me, I've been holding on for 23 years. And that's why I'm standing here today. Because I never let go. Because tomorrow is coming. It will happen. One day it will happen. As long as you don't let go. So once you hold on, you don't let go. Okay? And many years, 2010, you know my mother was ill. She was very sick. On, she passed away on the 13th of July, 2010. So 12th of July, I was in the hospital late at night with her before I went home. I said, okay, ma, I'll see you tomorrow. And she looked at me, Sati, come here. Remember, just hold on. Don't let go. See, the only way you will fail in this business is if you let go. Hold and never let go. Because in a few hours, you get a chance to start again. And I held on to what she said until today. Now, I failed. A few times I failed. Let me tell you why. Where I failed. I always had a dream of becoming a professional pool player. You know, snooker? Okay? And I held on to the dream. But it was too hard. And I let go. Because in order for me to become a professional pool player, I had to lose many times. I had to enter competitions and lose, get humiliated by players who are better than me. Then only I can become better and become a champion eventually. But I did not want to lose. And I let go. You know? And many years from now, when I'm dead, when I'm dying, I'm dying in bed. Okay? There will be many ghosts of me, my ghost, who are ready to take me away. They will stand around my bed. Okay? And one of them will be the professional snooker player. And he said, Sati, because you let go, you did not hold on, I'm going to die with you today. But you know who won't be there? QNET IR. We partner Sati. Because I never let go. He won't be there. I will not regret that. And I don't want you to regret. You understand? If you let go and give up QNET, when you're going to die, the IR that you gave up on will come and say, why did you give up? Why did you not hold on? Just for one more day. You understand? So I never, so that dream of mine of playing pool, becoming a pool champion, I let go because I did not like losing. But in order for me to become a champion, I must learn to love losing because every match that I lose is just one step closer to becoming a champion. Same in our business. Every rejection you face, one step closer to maxing out. Every time Vadivelu or Manorama tells you something, it's just one step closer to maxing out. One step closer to maxing out. And this, I learned so many times in my life, like every day, at home. Now because the gyms are closed, so I train at home. I have a personal trainer. Now it doesn't look like that. I don't want to build muscles like Bridges and Sachin 24 hours in the gym, which is very good. But I train one hour every day with my personal trainer. 
and it's hard work. I carry weights, 20 kilos, 10 kilos, 15 kilos. And when I'm pushing, and I cannot do any more, okay? After 30 minutes, and I have 30 minutes more, because one hour, right? I'm carrying, I cannot. And I want to give up. I want to tell my trainer, no, no, we continue tomorrow. And my girlfriend, who sits there and watches me, says, Sad, hold on. 30 minutes more. And I hold on for 30 minutes and I finish that one hour. Some of you know what I'm talking about. It's difficult. Like I have to do 30 push-ups. Three sets of 30 push-ups. Okay, so 90 push-ups. Number 60, I'm already, my whole body is shaking, my hands are shaking and I can't do it anymore. And I tell myself, hold on, 20 more. And I complete 90 and the feeling is fantastic. So you just got to hold on, guys. That's all. And every match you lose, you're just one step closer to maxing out. So keep losing. It's okay. When you feel like giving up, remember, hold on. Six hours more is going to be a new day. That's what my mother told me. And to finish the England story, we have a huge network in England now. Yeah? And I practice that in everywhere I go to build a network. Hold on. You face rejections. 100 rejections a day. So what? Tomorrow is a brand new day. But you just got to hold on for a few more hours. I'm telling you, practice this and you will max out. Don't let go. Hold on. In everything you do, every single thing you do, just hold on. And sometimes you want to give up. I know the feeling. You cannot hold on anymore. It's painful. Your family is against you. Your wife, your husband, your parents. You spend time away from your family. And you just want to let go. But don't, because you will regret it. On your deathbed, the IR whom you gave up on will come and say, why did you give up? If you just held on for one more day, we could have made it. I totally understand. There are times you said, I can't do this anymore. My half of my network quit. People are requesting for refunds. My top leader is shouting at me every day. What are you doing? What is the company doing about this, this, this? And you cannot handle the pressure anymore. Just hold on. If you can't hold on, the pain is too much. Call your plan. I need help. Call chief. Call me. Call the V partners. Call your plan. We will come down and help you to hold on. We will hold your hand. Understand? Let me tell you a poem which I heard many times and it stuck to my head. So we are standing there at the edge of a mountain. And then we said, come. And they said, no, it's too high. Then we said, come. No, we are afraid we might fall. Then we said, come. And they came. And they stood at the edge. And we pushed them. And they flew. So come. We will teach you how to fly. But all you have to do is hold on. Look at the person on your left and tell him, 